What's up, Bimby fam? We got a problem. Specifically, I have a problem. I'm wearing my Cubs jersey and hat today. I'm not going. I'm going to take this off because I'm kind of hot. Uh. Yeah, so here's the thing. I don't know if you saw my um, title card, but yeah, I have a little bit of a problem with that. So, if you didn't see it, here's a little sneak peek at it again. What's wrong with this picture, you ask? Well, I'm going to give you several things about what's wrong with this picture because I have a big problem because it involves the world of sports on a really big scale. Well, two problems. But first, before, before I talk about it, we're going to go ahead get this thing rolling but you know how we do this let's go ahead get the theme music going let's do this <laughs> So if I haven't said it already, I have two problems with this, that picture. And here are the reasons. One, this is, if you don't know what year we're in, then, well, You're either dead or, well, first of all, you're either dead, insane, or you just don't know where you are. And two, you just don't know what's going on. So... So my problems are, we're in the year 2021, the Olympics is happening in 2021. So I'm going to give you a quick backstory. The Olympics was supposed to, originally supposed to happen in the year 2020 but because of COVID-19 everything and I mean everything was shut down including the Olympics which was supposed to happen in the year 2020 which was last year Which explains the problem. 
which gets down to the nil gritty of why we're so this year the poster still says 2020 Olympics but we're in the year 2021 I'm not the smartest dude ever, but I'm not even close, but I'm pretty sure 20, I'm pretty sure one is greater than zero. Is it not? Uh, we're gonna come back to this because I don't want to spend all day on this. I actually want to talk about the Olympics and a few things about it. Uh, the thing I am glad is that the Olympics are back and we are exactly, we are less than 60 days away from the Olympics kicking off. Last I checked is kicking off July 23rd and it ends the first week in August. I think August 3rd is when it ends. And if I heard right, this will be and if you ever heard of Simone Biles, right, I'm pretty sure by now most of us are aware of who Simone Biles is. She's been, like, over all of our TV channels at this point since 2016 Olympics, which actually did go on as scheduled. But anyway... I read something that said Simone Biles, this will most likely be Simone Biles' final Olympics. Because she's been, from, <coughs> this is from what I know about gymnasts, they spend their entire, literally their entire lives doing nothing. Like, from a young age to their 20s doing nothing but gymnastics and that's all I know about that but yeah from what I heard this will be Simone Biles last gymnastics and another thing I know is that A lot of gymnastics, uh, gymnasts, uh, <laughs> most of them only do compete at one Olympics, yet alone two. The only gymnasts that I know that competed at two are that I can think currently think of are Ali Raisman and Gabby Douglas. Those are the only ones that come to my mind. But uh yeah. From what I heard this will be her final Olympics and yeah, that's that. And other news, uh <laughs> sorry my camera slipped.
Allison Felix. This will also may also be her final Olympics as well because several months ago she gave birth to her daughter. I believe her name is uh, yeah I forgot I forgot her name but, uh, <laughs> but yeah she has a baby girl. So, and from what I've heard, she wants to spend the rest of her time raising her. So this will most likely be it for Alice and Felix. Um, I, think that's the, I think that's about it. What I remember. Um... I don't think there's any more retirees. I think it's... From what I can say, um, I'm just overhyped to have the Olympics back because to go a year without it was was like, wow. Because you had to cut football in half. You had to cut baseball in half. You had to cut hockey in half. And then, like, all these other sports were basically cut in half. Like, their seasons were cut in half. And then you couldn't have the Olympics at all. Because the Olympics is only two weeks out of four years, like they don't even get a month. It's like two years. And that's another thing. Why is the Olympics only two weeks? It takes two weeks out of, well, that's what I've noticed. It's only two weeks out of every four years. I would rather have it be two months, no, four months, every four years. Like, that's a better deal for me. Like, I don't know, maybe it's TV time, something like that. I don't know, but... But yeah, before I uh, cut, um, I just want—I want to go back to the, the problem with the twenty twenty one thing. Just, I feel like they should have changed it to twenty twenty one because it's happening in twenty twenty one. Like, why would you leave it as? Why would you leave the platform as Tokyo Olymp 2020 Tokyo Olympics? If anything, it should be, especially since the Winter Olympics are next year. Like, I don't know. You tell, you comment below and tell me. And if you f just happen to feel like <laughs> subscribing, pressing the little magic button, then feel free as well. <sighs> but yeah, I'm going to end at that note and say, um... <laughs> I'm ecstatic. I'm ready for the Olympics. Um, like the mark I am planning, I'm hoping for is at least 90 or more gold medals. 
Well, no, no, no. That's, that's probably too much. Uh, 80 or more gold medals. If we can get 80 or more gold medals, I will be satisfied. Yeah, 80 or more. Or just 80 medals in general, too. They don't necessarily have to be gold. If we can get 80 medals in general. But 80 gold medals would be really, would be great. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it for me. Uh, as always, this has been MB Music Man. And as always, stay safe and be blessed.